Man, K shots, man, and I just jumped out the porch, dirty glove bastard, man. Gang. Heard us a bullet down, tell them to go pick up their man. Stupid got glued to the flow, his ass ain't making the chance. Pop out of black. All right, so we got the one and only Tay Shots jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. What's going on? What's going on? Appreciate you for having me here. Yeah, no problem, man. I appreciate you pulling up on us too, man. For sure. Yeah, first off, how you feeling today, man? Feeling good, man. Just glad to be here, man. I dig that, man. Yeah, you want to shout out your people sitting up there with you today too? Shit, I got my brother Kesey right here. Shit, seven. He we got Zay back there. Okay, that's what's good, man. Uh, what else you got planned while you're in Atlanta, man? You just out here networking and recording, or what else you got going? Yeah, just moving around, trying to network, shit, hit the studio, you know, shit like that, make some more music. Okay. Now, Try to shoot a couple videos, too, while I'm out here, too. Okay. Do you come up here often or not too much? Uh, no, nah, I be out here a couple, though. I yeah. be out here. I used to stay out here, though, like, around, okay. like, yeah, like, around 2020, I used to stay out here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, mean, I stayed out here for about, like, a year. Okay. How would you describe that time, and how does it compare to, you know, back home in Jackson? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. See, Atlanta is busy out here. Mm -hmm. See, like, Atlanta, like, I can tell, like, everybody out here, they like, they like to be together and, like, make money and shit like that. See, Jacksonville, that shit ain't nothing but a crowd pot. For real? Everybody ain't trying to, like, be together, mm -hmm. make money and stuff like that, you know? Well, yeah, I hear that from a lot of artists in Jacksonville, man. Why do you think it is like that? It's just kind of like... I don't even want to say a small town mentality because Jacksonville's a pretty big city too, you know? There's big. Everybody just be hating on each other, don't even want to see people win, you know? We got, I don't know, man, just everybody just be hating. Hmm. You think that shit will ever change or is it, it's just the way it is? The way it is right now, I ain't gonna lie. It ain't gonna never change because like, everybody just like, it just be so much people being in competition with each other, just, don't need it just be so much. I ain't, it ain't gonna never end though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I dig that, man. Um, so coming up in Jacksonville, like, what was some of your hobbies as a kid, man? What was you doing? Um, I used to play basketball. Like growing up as a kid, I used to play basketball and shit. Like, I used to play basketball and I used to play football. I played Pop Warner for this um this team called Sweetwater. But like as a regular kid, though, you know, just you know how it is growing up as a kid. You know, just being outside a lot, getting into a whole bunch of little stuff as a kid, you know. Yeah. yeah. When you first walked in the door, I was like, man, he's taller than I thought, man. How <laughs> tall is you? I'm about like 6'3". Okay. Okay. So did you play uh, like basketball in high school too, or were you done? No, nah, I didn't play basketball in high school. I played AAU. Okay, okay. Like, yeah, I played AAU. You like was nice with it? For sure that I was nice. <laughs> you still be hooping now? From time to time, like, we'll be popping out, like, out of town and stuff like that. We might go to the gym, all the guys, we link up with each other, go pull up at the gym, you know? Yeah. That, man. So when would you say you jumped off the porch, how old were you? <laughs> uh, I'd probably say I jumped off the porch when I was, like, 14. Like, around when I start really, like, stop playing sports and stuff for real. Like, my last year of Pop Warner, that's when i say I really, like, jumped off of the porch. Okay. And what would you say were like the circumstances that led to you jumping off the porch at 14, man? Trying to be like out in the streets, trying to make money, like make my own money and stuff. Like not always, not having to always go to my mama and my people and stuff like that, trying to like ask for money. So like, I felt like, shit, go out there and try to get it on my own. Okay, yeah. And you got any siblings or you the only kid? Nah, see, I got, I got three sisters. I got two older sisters on my mama's side, and I got one younger sister on my daddy's side, so I got straight sisters. Okay. And did you grow up with your pops, too? Was he, like, in the household, too? Yeah, he was there. Okay. Y'all got a good relationship today? Something like that. But, you know, that's pop stuff still at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, and did you go to college after school, or what were you doing? Nah, I ain't go to college. I ain't never go to college. I really ain't never see myself going to college for real. Hmm. Just being so caught up in the streets and stuff, I really ain't never see myself going to college. Okay, yeah. Because knew... after I stopped playing sports, like, I'm like, I know I ain't finna go to college, like, on some, like, on some school stuff, like, trying to, like, be something big. Because I'm like, man, school used to be aggravating, so, like, <laughs> see, I ain't graduate, though. You did it? No, nah, I ain't even graduate high school. I had, um, I was going to this one school, high school, it's called Westside High. I was going to my like my 10th grade year. And like first day of school, 
Like I tried to skip it in the um, in the lunch, trying to see all the new hoes who go to the school and shit. <laughs> and the principal already knew who I was from like the year my ninth grade year. So like when he seen me, he like you were just in the last lunch type junk. So like oh you ain't even supposed to be here. They straight suspended me first day of school. Like, first day of school. First no day warning, of school. no nothing. No nothing. No warning, no nothing. Straight suspended me first day of school for three days. So that's when like I started getting into fights and stuff in school day. Yeah. And that's when they end up writing me up on another referral. So after that, they put me on like a contract. And so like when they put me on the contract, they was like, next referral, I'm getting kicked out the whole school. Damn. I got into a, a whole nother fight again. It's, it's this one dude, he trying to like, I'm, I'm really trying to avoid the whole situation, but I ain't really finna let nobody play with me. <laughs> so like, it went left from there, got into a whole nother fight, beat dude. So then they end up just kicking me out the whole school. Shit, did they try to send you like alternative school or somewhere else or? Mm -mm. Eddie, do that. Damn, they was done with you, huh? They were done with me there. I was trying to get into other schools. The other schools weren't accepting me because they seen I got kicked out from on the contract from another school, so they weren't even. Oh shit. But I ended up going to like, it's like this little one little school to where like, if you got like all your credits and stuff, and like it's credits that you don't got, like you work on the computer and like, yeah, it's like credit recovery. Hmm. So like, I went to a little school like, Chase, like that. You can tell when the diamonds down. Chase me money, how the fell on with he back. Oh shit. <laughs> that was my 11th grade year, so I like, I just said, fuck school. You was done with it at that point, yeah. 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 And what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you've gone through in your life so far that you had to overcome? Um, shit, losing, losing homeboys to like the streets and to the system and stuff. Like, my first time ever taking a loss to like to homeboys like to the streets was like 2018. My homeboy, um, this was the situation when um, when Ace had got shot and mm -hmm. three brothers had died and shit. So that was like the first time like something like really big like happened like that in my life like losing homeboys and shit. Then then you got Queso them in jail. So you know all that shit done just be adding up to like seeing shit. Yeah. Uh, did you grow up with Ace or how long you been knowing him? Shit, I met Ace in middle school. Okay. Y'all was in the same grade or? Nah, he was a he was in the grade above me. Okay. Yeah, yeah I was in I was like great lord of him. Yeah. We went to a middle school called Jefferson Davis. Okay. So y'all were always friends growing up together or? I really like we, we was cool, but like I really wanna say like I was like one of the like main people like he used to always like hang around and stuff like that. Cause you, like we all like know like each other, like we all got the same homeboys, you feel me? So like you know how like you got like one group of set of homeboys and then but you always got like another group of set of homeboys that you might be around if you ain't around them or some shit like that. So like <laughs> yeah. everything was still genuine in love though. Okay. Yeah. And what about Queso? Queso, I met Queso ninth grade year in high school. Ninth grade year in high school, that's when I met Queso, went to the same high school, and then ever since then we've been locked in. Okay, okay. How's he holding up right now? Have you been able to talk to him? Talk to Queso every day. Queso, man, that's, a, that's like one of the strongest people I know. Like, he ain't gonna never see you down. He ain't gonna never let you see him down. Like, he always, like, through any situation, like, he always gonna keep his head out. Like, like that's a real deal, like, hard by the nigga. So, like, bro gonna always keep a smile on his face. He coming home though, for sure though. Yeah. Everybody trying to like go against him and stuff, but he coming home. Yeah, cause man, just by reading the blog, seeing all the shit that he's gone through, you think that shit would break someone, you know? Nah, that ain't, he ain't gonna let nothing like that break him. He done been through so much his life, so like he done seen so much and overcame a lot. Like this right here, like, like he really like just sitting back on some shit. Like he ended up, he sitting back like really like seeing like who really like death for him for real through like a tough time like this. So like when, when they see he come home, then that's when, People gonna try to like come out the blue on some of course, shit. Yeah. yeah, you know how it be. All right, so how long have you been rapping now? Is this something you've been doing for a while, or something you kind of just jumped into the last couple of years? Yeah, like I really started rapping like when. Let me see. I made my first song like 2019. I had that that little um. Yeah, that free D dog young boy beat. Like that was okay. the first beat I ever did. And then after that, like when I made that song, like I sent it to him. Matter of fact, like I'm at the yeah. studio. <laughs> I'm at the studio and I finished the song, I'm like, let me send this to the guys, let me see how they feel about it. And that's he in the car with Queso too, so I sent it to them. They called me back like five minutes later. They're like, oh man, you snap, you snap, ooh, ooh, like that, ooh, you snap. So, ever since then, like, 
Like I, I go in the studio sometimes, record something, but like I really wouldn't take it as serious as much though. Like as like I'm trying to do right now. Like right now, I'm really trying to like push it for real. Yeah. So uh, back then, what made you like kind of inspired you? What made you even want to try at that shit then? Was it just something that like, you were just fucking around or? Uh, really seeing, really seeing like Queso really like in his beginning stages like taking off. Like that's okay. what made me like. Like he really like he he going up for it and I'm like and me and be, me being around him seeing it I'm like I might as well like try this and like just be like a whole thing like everybody just going up. Yeah. And who'd you grow up listening to? Like who were some of your favorite rappers? I was on that um that LA, like that Chicago wave. I was on that LA and Rondo and them hard and Chief Keith and that Love Fo. I was on that hard though. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so, how long would you say you've been taking this shit serious then? It was like last year when you kind of locked in with it? Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say like, yeah, like last year, like ending of like 2022, like okay. going into like 2023 and stuff, yeah, like that's when I really like started like wanting to take it serious for real, for real. Yeah. What made you say, man, fuck it, let me lock in and really do this shit then? Cause like, Queso ain't here right now, so I feel like, like as me, like as like, like as like a like a little brother, like being around him, like so I like I know I like really like to like, keep it going, like keep his legacy, like what he started, like keep it going until he back out here, like on some shit. So that's like making it, making me want to like really really go hard with it, like just to like you know, yeah. keep his name going, making sure he out there, then making myself bigger, you know, so I could be able to like feed my people. For sure. Now, was he the type to like being trying to encourage you? Like, man, you raw with this shit. You should be taking this shit serious. Yeah, for sure. That for sure. I ain't gonna lie. Queso got me my like my my first feature ever. Hmm. First feature. <laughs> we, matter of fact, we was stand, we was out here in Atlanta, and that's when we drove to Carolina. And he already was like the trip was really for him. Like he had a feature, and that's when we in the studio, and that's when the dude he did the feature with. He was like, might as well put shots on the song. He don't pay me for the feature right then and there. So like, oh shit. <laughs> once then, I'm like, man, I'm finna just. Lock in. Yeah, it's always a different feeling when people start paying you for your shit too, man. Like, definitely, oh shit. That's a whole different feeling. Yeah, yeah, definitely make you want to lock in with this shit. So how you like being a rapper this past year then, man? Is something you enjoy? Something you want to keep doing? For sure, for sure, for sure. Like, like I don't really got used to like all the like people like trying to talk down like sometimes, you know, trying to talk saying like your music may not but be good and all that. Like I'm really getting used to everything though, so. Nah, your music hard. Like, how would you describe like your growth as an artist from when you first started rapping up until today, man? I done got way better. See, like me when I used to go to the studio, like I always like since like we'll be in the studio with each other. So like the guys and they helping me out. So like if I'm like if I might say something wrong, they be like, oh no, nah, you don't say that, bro. Like then we help each other out. Like we're in the studio, we so being in with the guys in the studio and working. Shit. Shit, that'd be good though, because that'd be the good vibes in the studio when you got yeah. your guys in the studio with you and you all oh, just working. So like, if you do something wrong, they can like tell you what you're wrong at. I don't want nobody to be around me on some shit like, man, they're not telling me like my junk not good, but you really let me put in that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, you don't don't need to surround yourself with yes, man. That's because you'll never grow from that. You'll be thinking everything you put out is fine. It's like, you could have did a lot better than that shit. So what's your creative process like? Do you write your raps? Do you punch in? Do you do both? Or I punch in. Yeah. Okay. I used to write like when I first started, like trying to rap. I used to write, but now like I don't like my vocabulary done like grew and stuff. So like I be in there punching in freestyling. Yeah. And do you prefer to record with like a lot of people in the studio with you, or or you prefer to be by yourself when you record now? No, no. I like people being around me though, cause I, I like I love the energy of being in the studio like around the guys. Like the, from from what I just said from the last question, like I like being in the studio with the guys working. Like. Yeah being us, so like that's good energy so like we just in a vibe and so like yeah i got you when do you feel like you make your best music then it's like when you're in a good mood or you kind of in your feelings or you pissed off at something or sometimes like i gotta i gotta have like the weed and stuff like that you know so, so i like to i be drinking liquor and stuff sometimes and while i'm in the studio so it'll put me in that mode for real so like i really get to feel myself when i'm in the I dig it, man. And what's your thoughts on the music scene in Jacksonville right now today? Mm. <clears throat> the music scene in Jacksonville, like I really say like 
everybody really likes how Jacksonville just set up though like the police be like after us like they just be trying to like put out like a, just a crazy image on like everybody in the city so like everybody that's rapping right now everybody we really just trying to make it out of Jacksonville hmm. like really just trying to make it out of that shit like, yeah. the police so like fucked up out there so it just be something like we just trying to make it out of Jacksonville so everybody just want to rap so they can feed their people Shit like that, everybody really just trying to make it out of that. But the Jacksonville scene though, the rapping, like it, it's going good though. Like it's a it's a lot of artists out there like who doing some shit though. Yeah, Jacksonville's been on the rise for like, you know, the last five, maybe even longer than that, five, six, seven years now. Where it's like so many different artists blowing up getting signed out the city too, man. Yeah, there's a lot of artists out there getting signed and getting noticed from a lot of people though. Yeah. Um, kind of touching on like what you were talking about, like with the police, we seen that shit here in Atlanta where like they bring it up thugs, you know, lyrics and courts and shit, man. You feel like that should be free game? Or do you yeah, feel like man. that should be targeting, uh, you know, artists? Man, they just be trying to like target. Cause like, how you gonna try to use somebody lyrics or what they saying in they song in, like in court? Like this like a freedom of speech. Like we going out here in, in the booth and we really like expressing like what we going through, like what our life day to day or what we seeing, like. I don't know why they be trying to like use the lyrics because like it's freedom of speech, so yeah. I don't be understanding that. Yeah, and at the end of the day, yeah, and at the end of the day, this shit entertainment. You know this what I'm saying? Like I don't see them targeting any other genre of music. They ain't yeah. going after no movie actors and none shit like this. So it's like definitely it seems like bullshit. And then you watch the shit on TV where they're playing like all these thug songs. It's just like man, this shit is ridiculous. Yeah, man. Yeah. I don't know why that shit be like that though. Like, all this is entertainment. Like, I don't be understanding what be the point of them trying to use the lyrics in court. Yeah. Um, was there a first song that kind of really took off for you that really made you a believer? Like, man, people really fucking with my shit? Uh, see, like, one of, the, one of the biggest videos I got on my YouTube right now is a song called Die For This. Oh, yeah, that shit went crazy. With my brother Backstreet and um, with Ace. Mm -hmm. It's almost at a million views. I need, like, 200 more cameras to be at a million. Yeah. That would be my first million on my YouTube. Like when I seen them numbers, like how when I dropped that video, and then I just seeing the numbers just go up like like each hour. Like I'm just watching. I'm like, damn. Like I'm at 50k in a, like in a day or some shit. I'm like, I ain't never hit this before. So when I'm seeing that, like that's really like giving me that like, all right, shots. Like take this serious for real, for real. Like cause you like really raw for real. So like take it serious. Yeah. What was that studio session like? Were all of you guys in the studio together? Or was that some shit you sent days or? Nah, we was all in the studio together. Okay. Yeah, we was, we was all in the studio together and like it was just a vibe. Like that's what I'm saying. Like when you're in the studio with the guys, like, that vibe gonna be the, like I'm the first one who, who done hopped on the mic first. Cause you know, I started off the song first. And that's when, that's when they, everybody just, I'm not even knowing they talking behind me cause I got the headphones, I'm locked in. So like I'm really, so, so I take the headphones off. So that's when everybody just talking, they like, but what? Shots getting like shots really getting like he he growing he growing for real. So that's what Ace like man punch me and I'm finna get on there. Ace like punch me and I'm finna get on there. Ace snap. That's when Backstreet he come on he like man you know I, I gotta come hard y'all boys both done came on there hard he like I got to come hard. He done made like he he trying to come in so hard he done made like three different parts. So that's when I, I'm talking to him like bro that that part had this the one this the one to go with and that's when he kept going kept going then the song we just just snapped on it. So you kind of expected that thing to go up like it did, or were you still caught off guard by it? Nah, I expected that to go up, because like, the people who don't, like, we don't played it around, like, some people, like, we don't been in the studio, like, with some different rappers and stuff, we don't played it around them, and they like, yeah, this, that one. Hmm. Yeah, that shit out of here. Like, it's like approaching a million views right now, too, man. Yeah, we was in the studio out here with, um, with EST. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's hard right there. Uh, what about the What Up remix with you J and J. Breezy? That shit went crazy too, without the video. Definitely, it went up without the video. That, that was something I had just, I had just made, and I, like, cause that song hard, like that was mm -hmm. just like that was a catchy song. So I'm like, man, I'm finna just, I'm finna try it now. And that's when I'm on live playing it. And that's when J. Dot had hot on the live, and he was like, send me the open verse, and he hot. Oh it. shit, well, that's how it worked out. Yeah, but okay. you know, you know, being locked in though with J. Dot, you know. Yeah. Did y'all ever talk about shooting the video or because it was just like a freestyle remix and never even thought about it or? Nah, we talked about, nah, we don't, we don't talk about shooting the video, but you know, like we both like being, we both be in different cities. So, you know, like we'll have to like really link up, you know, he be having his own stuff going on. I be having my own stuff going on. So it just, you know. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the new single, No Hospital. This shit, this shit might hit an M too. This shit going crazy right now, bro. 
you had no hospital, yeah, that's that one. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's that gas right there. <laughs> So same thing, like the studio session, what was that like? And did you expect this one to go crazy like it has? Nah, I, expect, I ain't gonna lie, I expected that one to go up how I did, though. I ain't gonna lie from like everything that I was like, you know, talking about, I expected it to go up, though. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. Like, that's one another hard song that everybody say they fuck with right now. Oh, yeah. No, that should go out of here, man. Uh, you got the new EP out right now, uh, The No Hearts Given. That was your first project, right? That was my first project. Okay. So talk about like the creative process that went into that. Uh, see, really, like, at first, like, we was really, like, finna do, like, a collab tape, like, with all the, with, um, with all the guys on it, like, me, Ace, Backstreet, GMK, like, all of us, we really supposed to do, like, a collab mixtape. But, you know, like, everybody just be, like, sometimes be, like, separated out, so, like, everybody be having their own stuff going on, so, but, like, the first song on the unknown scene with Ace, like we was in the studio, and we just the vibe was there, you know. I just went in there, he hopped on it. So like we been had made that song though. Oh, that was so something like, you had sat on for a while. Yeah, it's like a song we sat on for a while. But Ben, and the other songs like with um other song I got on there with me, Sosa, and Ace. Ben made that song, sat on that one. So it was like a couple of songs that like we really just sat on on for real. And then like I made the one last song I made that like that was fresh, the I Miss You Letter. I okay. had just made that like in 2023, I just made that. So that's when really like I just decided to like, let me just drop an EP yeah. and see like what I do with it. So it's like my first time doing it. So I'm like, I'm independent with it. I might as well like just be dropping. Cause like Keesey, he be telling me like, you got a whole bunch of music, bro. You might as well just drop it, drop mm -hmm. it, bro. Just put more music out there so people can hear you. Just keep dropping music, just keep dropping music. So I'm like, I'm finna just try EP. Yeah. Try the EP. Nah, the shit hard. I think it's what, only six songs or whatever, but all them bitches hit, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. And I saw you mention on the IG that the, uh, the I Miss You letter, that's one of your favorites on there. Yeah, I Miss You letter, yeah, that's one of my favorite songs. Why so? Um, like, it was like on some, like, really like trying like something new, cause like, people be like thinking like, I could just like, rap about like street stuff and, like you know like the little drill scene music so i'm like man let me just switch it up and then just going through stuff because like really like me as a person like i don't really like know how to open up and like be able to like talk and like express like what i be going through so like i like, can just be like a lot of stuff i be holding in like to myself as a person so like with that song there like i'm just sitting there in the dark and then do it just a vibe i'm just in there just locked in and i'm just in there like just talking, cause like nah, like it's stuff like new stuff done happened in my life and shit like that. Lost lost my little brother, his name Tibbet. So, and then just thinking about like Queso being locked up and then other homeboys that I lost in the past. So it's like I'm just thinking about a whole bunch of stuff and then and that beat and that song. Like I just opened up on it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of artists say that. Like even when I interviewed Rod Wave, he was like, man, I just treat the microphone like like a therapy session. You know, like it's hard for me to talk to people, but when I get in front of that mic. Like all that shit just kind of pours out too, but yeah, definitely that might be therapy because like, especially like if that's something that you enjoy doing, and then you got stuff you're going through your life, like you could just get on that mic and just sit there and just express it. Yeah. Now was that like a song you were kind of like uh, I don't want to say nervous, but like kind of didn't want to share with other people at first, or did you send nah, that shit out it, right away? Nah, the crazy thing is like that was my like that was my second time hearing that beat. Cause like when I be at home, like I be listening to beats, just be pulling beats up. Like I be around like my little cousin and then Sosa and stuff. Like be playing beats and just be rapping, just trying to like come up like different flows and stuff. So, and then that one beat, he just played it one time and it was in the garage, just chilling. And that's when I'm like, say that beat. And then I had went to the studio and I'm like, man, send me that beat you say. And I'm in the studio and I just tried it. Like everything was just fresh right there in front of everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, now that shit turned out really dope. You yeah. gonna shoot a video for that one? Yeah, I'm finna shoot a video to it this weekend. Okay, cool. That's what's up. I'm gonna drop that. Then I'm gonna shoot like one more video out the EP. And then, and then after that, it's just trying to go up new different stuff. It's a new year, it's time to new things. Yeah. Uh, how'd you look with my boy uh, Get Rich Zach? Oh, that's my boy right there, Get Rich. Yeah, that's my boy. Shit. Really, like, I, I met Zay like through like TK and, and GMK, really. Like, we was out here in the studio. We done pulled up on him, and then I done met him, and then from that we were just locked in because we just, from right there, and then we just be talking to each other. Like I call him, hit him up, and we just be talking, and that's when I'm like, I got a song for you to get on. Mm -hmm. I'm like, for sure, send it to me. Hop on it. 
Yeah, he be going crazy. His flow is so yeah, for sure. you know, unorthodox. Different. Like he yeah. got his own style with that shit. Man. Yeah, definitely. He different, man. Full yeah. strong. That's my boy. Um, so, so like, what's the label situation? Are you still independent right now? Yeah, I'm still independent. Okay. Are you interested in signing with like another label or a major or anything like that, or are you kind of just not really worried about it? I mean, if they talk to something, if they talk to something good, like there's something that we both can like come together and like understand something. Like if they talk to something good, then yeah, like, whatever comes, yeah, she talking good, that's yeah, sure. Okay. How do you deal with like the online trolls? Man? Cause you know, this <laughs> man, day and age. <laughs> man, I really be laughing for her. I be really trolling back with them. Like, <laughs> I be trolling So you be responding to them? Yeah, yeah, I be trolling right back with it. They come in the comments trying to say something, troll right back with them. <laughs> oh, they be caring. I be like, I be having the time sometimes. So I'm, I'm troll right back with them. <laughs> yeah, because this day and age with the internet, man, it's like people just want to get a reaction out of you. So don't think of the most outlandish shit that they could say. Just hoping that you respond to them, too. Man. Yeah, I be laughing at them, though. They be, they be funny. Yeah. Um, so what, what else are you working on right now? You plan to drop another project like sometime this spring or summertime? Or what, what are you thinking? Yeah, I'm trying to get in the studio a lot. I'm trying to get in the studio a lot. Then I'm really trying to drop like a, yeah, another mixtape. I'm trying to drop a mixtape in March. Okay. Yeah. So from right now, I'm trying to go in the studio, lock in, make new music, and just straight. I'm trying to really just keep dropping visuals back to back, back to back, back to back. Then that's when I'm going to come again with a mixtape, like around yeah. March. Yeah, because I'm sure, you, you you know, you watch your views. You see every video you drop kind of getting more and more traction, too. Yeah, man. definitely. For sure. Yeah, so. Keep going up. Every video, you really got to stay consistent. Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. Yeah, if you could drop something every couple, like two weeks or something. Yeah, definitely every two weeks for sure. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do that for sure. Drop every two weeks because when you drop in, that's more attention keep coming. That's more mm -hmm. attention keep coming. New fans, new people watching. Yeah. Uh, how you liking this shit then, man? Like yeah. I said, the shit been going up lately for you. Yeah, for sure. Appreciate it, yeah, man. I'm really thankful for being here because shit, because like this interview going to go up for sure. Yeah. Uh, what's some goals you got set for your music career then, whether it's short term or long term? Like, what, what are you really trying to get out of this shit? Man, I'm really trying to like feed my people, man. Get my people out of Jacksonville. Feed my people. Make sure everybody's straight, man. I'm really, I want, I really, I want this shit to go a long way though. Like, I know there's something I'm good at. I'm gonna take it serious, cause like, I everything I ever did in my life, I took it serious. So like, I'm gonna take this serious. Like, go with it. Like, I know I can do something with it. Like. People, everybody be telling me like, you, you got it, bro. You got it. You just gotta keep going. You don't, don't stop. Don't give up. Keep going. So that's all I gotta do, man. Just keep going. Keep elevating. That's all I gotta keep. What's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now, to the kids? Uh, shit. Right now, man. Just, just be yourself, really. Like, don't let nobody get in your head. Or, like, watching stuff like on social media, you seeing stuff like trying to copy other people. Like, just be yourself. Like, really, like. Just focus on like just trying to go somewhere and grow in life. Like do something good with your life. Don't pay attention to like what you may see on the internet. This person doing what this person saying. Like you don't gotta do what they doing. Like you could be your own person. Just just focus on you. That's all you gotta do. Really, just focus on you. Don't keep bad people around you. Just you know, stay stay true to yourself. Really. Yeah. No, that's wise words right there, man. All right, shout out to get a shout out you like to give you up before we wrap it up here, man. Shit. Shout out to all the bros, man. Everybody that's up here with me, you know. All, all the ones that couldn't make a shit. Everybody. The ones that's. Shout out to all my guys out on Lost Shot. All the guys behind the cell, man. They coming home. Shout out to everybody, man. Everybody who. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. Really? Okay. Put the bullet down. Tell them niggas go pick up their mans. Stupid got glued to the floor.